It is the countdown to the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden. It's next Wednesday in our nation's capital. 12 noon is the time. CBS 46 will bring you live coverage, and there will also be a local woman that will be taking part in that. We'll have her story for you in just two minutes. Governor Kemp utilizing all the resources available to him as he secures Georgia's state capital. CBS 46 Capitol reporter Haley Mason joins us live tonight. And Haley, you're going to break down how state officials plan to keep the Gold Dome safe. I've been talking to a number of agencies, Sean, and right now I can tell you this entire area is on high alert. Just take a look at City Hall right across the street from the Capitol. These orange barricades just went up. That's at Atlanta City Hall that's fenced off across the street. The state Capitol, which is the target of these protests, have police cars lining nearly the entire perimeter of the building. All agencies on deck right now in Atlanta as possible armed protests are expected this weekend at the state Capitol. Georgia's National Guard leader tells me they're ready to go in armor and protective gear. My recommendation uh, to those we support is for us to go big and go early. Governor Kemp has authorized up to 1,000 troops to active duty, but General Cardin says he could likely use more if needed. When we provide adequate numbers uh, in terms of our posture, what it does is it it drives the temperature down. Atlanta's FBI spokesman tells me they've activated command posts in Atlanta and across the state. Any type of threat that any law enforcement agency throughout the state of Georgia comes across will be communicated immediately to all of our par partners. He says they're currently in a heightened posture, but as this about actual threats. Well, at this point, we don't have any specific or substantiated threats to, this US, to the state capitol or any other government buildings in the in the Georgia area, but again, we are constantly monitoring potential threats. I talk with former United States Capitol Police Officer Theodis Jones, who served for nearly 37 years. This was not a, a one day, a one week, two week plan planning. This has been going on for a minute. He says police departments have to take this seriously and not be caught off guard again and work together to protect the people inside the buildings. First, you have to make sure that you are protected, that they have an adequate number of men. And Atlanta police tell me that they are coordinating with other agencies across the city and state as well. They have canceled regular days off and added 12 hour shifts to make sure they have adequate staffing for protests. Meanwhile, the Georgia National Guard is sending troops to Washington to help with Inauguration Day. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.